Welcome everyone to a new game that is called Moonlighter. <clears throat> um, this will be a new series that we'll be playing for some time, we don't know. I've seen some parts of it, not really everything though. Bandana. Continue. So if I'm, if I understood it correctly, you sort of, you sort of go to the dungeons during the night, and then you sell stuff during the day, and that's something. And I, as I said, I haven't really seen much of it. I haven't really played it before either. So, the new experience for me too. So. Oh, exclamation point. Oh. Oh, I can break these. Okay, so I can run around. Very nice. Let's go. I wonder if I can get something from breaking these. Oh. <gasps> I can dodge roll. I wonder if this sound is a bit too high maybe. Yeah. Let's go with this. What's this? I don't know. That's my inventory maybe. Okay, so I can roll over things. Awkwardly. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. There's a guy there. Hello? Oh, you can't actually roll? Okay. Not a very good idea. So I can roll through enemies and nothing will happen. Okay. Oh god, hello. I roll through bullets. And I won't get hurt. Nice. Through objects? No. Wait, oh god. Not the quickest weapon, I'd say. Oh god. Hella strong. Oh. Alright, so. What's it? Oh, I can make you have. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, right. Okay, that's the healing part, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, okay. Okay, this is... Ah, yeah! Oh god, not a good idea. <laughs> Where's a stick here? God. Hello? Open. Heart. Right. T. Something. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah same thing. See? Gold runes. Ooh. Found. Wait, is that. This is. Oh god, I'm just click. Okay. Wait, so this is. Okay, I can check my inventory. Wait. There's no button. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I forgot every button. I forget every button. Oh god. Okay, yeah, this is not very fun. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, I switched weapons. No. Don't, please. Don't, please. I forget what my buttons do. Ah. Wait, how do I even hit people? Oh god. So is this the button? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's too many. So here's the problem, right? I forgot what every button did. I guess I was supposed to die. Uh, to lose, rather. But <laughs> I was so confused to get like, wait, what did my buttons do again? 
Oh man, Sea Nun. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Well, I have you now. Who is Will? Who the hell's Will? I suppose it's my character, but. I mean, I didn't just shake. Okay. Or you robbed me? Oh no, you just. Okay. He can just walk into my bedroom like nothing happens. He. Oh, maybe this is how his house. Yeah, I forgot. Even as a mere child, barely, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Do I know this person? Oh, this doesn't look like language. There's no doubt. You carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who the hell's Pete? What is going on? Okay, you woke up. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is, the hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, this would be the shop. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense. It's foolish. Just leave it. You found some artifact and used your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's from it's mine from back in the day. Use it. You have a little need for it now. I have a little need for it now. Sword and shield or breastplate, whatever that is. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the oh no. Let's see I spoke Swedish there, my bad. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that picked up from your grandfather so many many years ago god my throat is killing me kill us here I have a box I have a broom and I have a sword and a shield okay hello successful is selling your merchandise take knowledge of two things you must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and all, and allow the customers in. A hole to open shop. Bling -ling. Hello, you have a lot you have a bookcase on your back. What the hell? Sell? Oh you were happy. What is it? Floating diamonds? Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive, expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Oh, you have, you have a lot of shit going on in your back, dude. Is that too cheap? Then. Oh, that's too expensive. I don't think they need to tell you that how you. Oh yeah, I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices in your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand, and in low supplies. Take out your merchant notebook; it should hold all the information you have gathered on. It's so awkward when they continue a sentence to the next, because I don't really think about it. You have gathered on discoveries, discovered wares and artifacts. Um, inventory. Uh, okay, oh yeah, my bad. Um, would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best set off. Pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood. Will, make us proud. I will try, old man. I will try. 
Are you like my grandfather's like friend or something? In the meantime, why don't you try out the new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous, perilous, innate, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant boy. I will try, man. I will try and make you proud. <clears throat> oh god, oh hello. Go now, go, go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Where is the dungeon though? Hello. Dungeons. <laughs> I suspect that's this way. Uh. Oh. Shield. And sword. So I can block or knock back or something with this. Ah, oh, yeah. Enter. <clears throat> Do I have a pendant? What pendant? I don't know. I can see if I can remember. Because I always click. I was going. Whenever I heal, I press this button to switch weapons. Which is unfortunate. Let's go this way. Hello? Oh god. You're so slow. It's insane. Which is understandable, meaning it's the first <laughs> dungeon. My first real weapon. Sucker. Let's go further. Can you move or do you just shoot in that general direction? Whatever. Oh, there's some material here. What? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was have a three hit combo again. Yeah. Wait, what is that? What the hell? Oh, it's a, mm, it's a rock over there. Okay, never mind. Can I jump here? Did I just pay someone? Oh, okay, now that's the quantity of things. Okay. Well, hello. What's this? For some weird ass room. <coughs> To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took, in, took injury from strange creatures across the room. My pendant, all but shattered from the scuffle. Shook him out, though. I'd say I far better than he. He caught me spying on him near the garden's room. He dropped a cut of all our items when he fell lead. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete Dungan lost his marbles. <clears throat> oh, they talked about some Pete. Um, probably. <clears throat> I mean, this is him, right? But, like, crazy Pete, I think it was something about, like, how we almost got killed when we were in the dungeon or whatever. Stuck, whatever, I guess. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them are linked to a giant locked door inside the dungeons. The fifth door of Erionaka. Rinoka. Rinoka. I don't know. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whomever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. They are stupid. So I su suspect that Big Boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that I saw myself. Ah Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Oh god. So that's the first one we're in right now, right? To the left, and then this. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> oh, hell, oh my god. Uh, okay, so when I have two out of five gold, do not click the B button. But then I have five out of five gold, hold in the B button, and I will get home. When do I know? That I have five out of five gold things. Why not let leave? 
until okay, yes, I have to I have to do it. Okay. Escape with pendant. I learn a bunch of stuff with me. Go to town. Um <clears throat> This guy does he have a sleep oh hello. Okay, the old man is back. Did you need sleep? What's going on? Ah, the jogging appropriator of Moonlighter has returned. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. <clears throat> Sorry about that. You look intact. I finally learned to use that pendant, pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Dot dot dot. What are we hide? What are we holding? Sorry. Is that a shard of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You, you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Will you? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Dot dot dot. Now I've noticed some posts on the town board that may that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Arainoka. Nice indeed. Alright. Oh, a woman. Is that my new wife? Head over there. Read. Investments. Town. Oh, people. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials of forge to reckon with. Forge? Hehe. <laughs> Funny joke. It's brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons. <laughs> You're complete opposite. Visit the wooden hat. To find potions and shopmen for this and that. All right. Um, place. Root. What I should do is also. How do I change the price? Crab ho. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, 50 was good, right? Not asking. Um, 50, yeah. Well, 50 will do, I think. Probably not, I don't know. <coughs> Hardened steel. The thing is, ancient pot. They look like a mushroom. Selling you a broken sword. For what are you? I got, should I? Is I? Am I supposed to sell everything? Fine. Root. There's a lot of root and wet, wet, wet stone. So I hardened steel, maybe. I don't know. Self. Thousand. Hundred. Hundred fifty. I don't know. An ancient pot. At 180. You know, an ancient pot is quite rare, I'd say. What else? Teeth stone. That sounds a bit odd. Let's sell some. I don't know. What's this on West Stone? Should probably swallow them. I don't know how much people want for this 100. 10 is 10, 10 a piece, maybe. Um, yeah. Wait, how oh, aren't you? Uh, did I forget to save the price somewhere? Let's do 120 just because of it. Oh god, no. Selling your reactions. We have this 100 and 170. So we want the in, in between. It's 150, otherwise, 140. Let's go. Let's, let's try that. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, we got this. Yeah. We'll put, I guess store stuff here. Let's store all of this that are maxed stack. 
Keep the yelly and the sword in here, I guess. There we go. What's this? That's not that okay. <clears throat> Hold to sleep. Oh god. <clears throat> oh, we're done. It's good. I can't look at the window. There's some pendants there, I think. Looks the same. Nice. Nothing else I can interact with. A mirror. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, up, I sold that for 1,000. Okay, I gotta, I gotta change that. <laughs> oh god. Um. Anyway, guys, I um, will see you guys in the next episode. Um. I will probably try to play a bit more of Moonlighter, as is, as of now, quite fun to play. I haven't really got into it as of yet, but um, we'll do longer episodes in the future, I think. Um, if you like my content, feel free to leave a like and even subscribe to my channel if you want to. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. But as for now, bye bye.